I've come all the way to the top of a mountain just to tell you what happens when water gets cold. When water gets cold, lakes, rivers, and streams can all freeze over, and the layer of ice can get so thick that cars and buses can drive on top of it. In fact, when water gets really cold on trees, it can form icicles, and this can also form on your house. You've probably even seen them before. Now when water gets trapped inside of pipes and freezes, it can burst. Another form of water is snow. Take some snow and stick it into a jar and pack it in. Then stick it in a warm place and watch what happens. Take a piece of black construction paper and freeze it. That way it's really cold. Then go outside when it's snowing, like now, and try to catch some on your black construction paper. That, that, that's enough snow, Michael. <laughs> then take the magnifying glass and look at the snow. Look at the snow. Every single snowflake is different. They never even repeat. I just got back from the mountain, and here's my jar that was once full with snow. Look how much water is left. Not as much as there was snow. That's because the water takes up less space than the snow does. Isn't that amazing?